Hi, welcome to Illustrator Tutorials for Beginners. In this video, we're going to learn grouping and ungrouping elements. We're going to use two effects, rounded corners and drop shadow. We're going to look at the appearance panel as well as the pathfinder panel and we're going to use the pen tool to draw our shape. So let's get started. Alright, click on File, New, and I'm going to name it Tags, click OK and I'm gonna grab my pen tool and draw half of the shape of the tag and I'm gonna draw something like this and oops uh, that's it and now I'm gonna reflect it using the reflect tool I'm gonna double click it turn on the preview oops I'm gonna select it first I'm gonna get rid of the fill to none now I'm gonna use the reflect tool preview I'm gonna copy alright let's move it a little ah seems like I've not drawn it correctly so I'm gonna check it again I'm gonna grab my direct selection tool click on this anchor point and move it yes that's fine I'm gonna select it again use my reflect tool copy move it to side exactly where they meet alright great now I'm going to pathfinder tool and use this first option unite whoa and you see I have one shape perfect alright I'm gonna use my first effect now I'm gonna go to stylize rounded corners turn the preview on alright click OK and you see we got the basic shape of a tag right now and I'm gonna play with it a little first of all I'm gonna add some fills and strokes to it so it looks better I'm gonna go for a fill, let's say I go for ah uh, mm, uh, let's go for a gray alright now I'm gonna add another stroke here I'm gonna show you why I'm doing it you see the stroke below will be actually below in the shape so I'm gonna make it a little bigger and the above stroke I'm gonna make it white and I'm gonna make it bigger too do you see that alright another thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna name it tag outline I wanna make a new layer uh, holes and I'm gonna lock the layer below for a second and I'm gonna grab my ellipse tool and somewhere here in the middle I'm gonna press alt on my keyboard as well as shift on my keyboard and I'm gonna draw a circle alright again I'm gonna press alt and shift and draw another circle alright and I'm gonna select both of them to bring down the stroke a little alright I'm gonna fill the inner stroke with white alright so you see it looks like a tag and maybe we can add more uh, let's add yet another layer and I'm gonna lock the holes also alright you see we already get our tag and we can now maybe write something on it let's rotate it and see what could be really cool over here like uh, sale 50% off and I'm gonna add it right here oops seems like I've made it it inside the holes layer I'm gonna make it a different layer and I'm gonna make it text oops okay 
and a bolder font will be better here and I'm gonna add a stroke I'm gonna change the fill I'm gonna increase the stroke width okay and now the colors are starting to look really dull so I'm gonna select the background color of the tag and make it something like this and the text color mm -mm -mm. oh let's have this one and make it stroke white oops uh, in this case maybe we can decrease the stroke alright looks fine to me and uh, we only need the draft shadow for the tags outline I'm gonna grab it maybe we can add it from here or here I'm gonna add it from here just to show that all the effects are available right under here add the drop shadow turn preview on it's too heavy for me so I will lower it a bit even more even more bring down the opacity to 55% click OK alright we got a tag so we made it already but maybe we need something more so I'm gonna leave it to you to experiment more with this uh, what I will do in general will I will add another layer and add maybe thread and then I will create some thread and <laughs> not like this one but uh, uh, something like this and the both the endpoints are too far away so maybe I can bring them closer and move it to somewhere here <laughs> okay that doesn't look right so I'm gonna move it above and uh, maybe we can change the endpoints even more uh, that kind of looks fine for now maybe it's too big as compared to that tag so I can bring down a little so you see we can play around with it alright and maybe we can add some drop shadow to the thread also and oops and we got the previous settings right here uh, maybe we can lower them a little click OK and whoa we got a tag hopefully you got the same result as me maybe we can change the colors or maybe we want the rounded corners to be more round so just go to round corners we got it so make your own artwork and play around with it and if you like the video please click on like and subscribe for more videos thank you